Konnichiwa and welcome everybody back to Chrono Reviews. It's time for another Mattel Roar of War from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and this time it's finally the Triceratops. I was back at my parents place and picked up my camera I left there so I've been recording a few reviews recently with my phone but it didn't turn out too bad. But on, the, on my way back I went to the toy store and they finally had the Triceratops in. They have finally got the Roar of Wars in. I mean, what a stupid delay with getting in the full assortment of figures from Wave 1. I mean, I can't imagine how long I will have to wait for Wave 2 with the Ceratosaurus and stuff. So probably I will order a lot from the internet. But I wanted to get this in store because of the feeling of finding something and buy it. I had I was lucky with the Stego, it appeared a lot earlier. And luckily enough attack packs turn up like a few weeks after the US, so I'm waiting for a pa attack pack wave two right now. So let's get into the package of the Triceratops. It comes in the standard Roar of War package with the cage design and the volcano layout and lava and it have the touch me sign here. Hmm, it seems like it's two of them on top of each other, like... Ah, it's a 3D effect on, on the, the lining on the... Uh... Right, but it displays that you can press here to try out the action function in the store. And this symbol means it has sound. And it shows the action feature here, which is head ramming action. And the box have the usual picture of Owen and Blue, the logo, and on the side the logo, and on the back there is a picture of the Triceratops itself, with action feature, sound feature, and that it have the Jurassic Facts app stamp under its feet, and there's the rest of the Roar Wars, the Baryonyx, Allosaurus, and Mechiacanthosaurus, and on the bottom is just information. So the, the color on the Triceratops here is a lot more light sandy brown but the actual Triceratops is more normal brown. I've seen pictures that made me think it was a lot reddish brown but it's not actually that reddish. It's not that red as I feared it to be so this is this is really fine. I actually prefer the actual paint job over the one on the previews because no Triceratops in JP looks like this. This one is closer to the one in JP1 as opposed to the grey Triceratopses in Jurassic World. Alright, here we have it. The Triceratops opened up from its package. And I must say, I love this figure. It's, it's, it's good. I mean, look at the sculpture. It actually have very JP looking sculpture. I mean, it's really good. The details on the crest, the shape of the body, everything is JP. I mean, I really love it. That's, I, 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 at first I wasn't going to get it because I wanted stuff in scale with my Kenner figures, but screw that these days. This one looks gorgeous. The paint job is... It's basic is a semi-light brown with a darker brown here and on the back and it have some lighter brown here. I sort of wish that they actually had the same lighter brown under the, the belly instead of only on the side of the leg. I mean, what's the point of that? It's no point having this. It would look a lot better if it is underside. So, my only complaint is actually that they underused the brighter paint job there, because it should have been here as well, and under the tail and a little bit up here. Then it would look a lot better. And like with most Roar of Wars that the paint job on the back stops here, it should go 
longer down. And there's a little bit of paint that have run down here but that can be scrapped off probably. But so my only gripes with the paint job is that they should have had the bright underbelly to match the bright backside of the leg. So I don't really see the point of this, they should have skipped that part. And that painting mistake, it's a manufacturing mistake, so some will have it, some will not. But other than that, it's a gorgeous figure, I mean, the eye are nicely painted. And the color really resembles the Triceratops from JP. At first I imagined JP Triceratops to be more grey, but looking, at, looking it up on pictures, it's actually more brown. Like this. It's slightly grey too, but they had to pick one main color. I see that point, so... One main color and they choose the more dominant one, which was brown. And as far as articulation go, you can actually move both the front and rear legs out. The Stego could not do this on the front legs. So you can have it in a lower balanced like pose like this, like it's really taking firm ground before bracing for impact if someone charges or if it's threatened. So just like with the other the, the carnivores, it slots into position here, but it's otherwise free to swivel and go out as much as you like. And it's the same with the front legs. And the head is a little bit wobbly like this. I think it is because adding a slight possibility even without pushing the bottom. And when you hit something with the ramming action, it will like turn on impact to not put too much strain into the, the attachment. I think that's I think that's the reason. And the horns are slightly soft so it will not hurt anybody. Why why didn't Kenner do that to the cancelled prototype Triceratops that should be the big release for the Lost World. They cancelled that Triceratops, but they they did. They could just have done soft, softer horns, but because they cancelled it because they were too pointy. Ah, never mind. I really wish that one was out because it looks looked amazing. But this one is also really good. And before I forget it, here is the Jurassic Facts app. And there's actually some... Ah. It's just... Glue remains from... A sticker or something? It can be scrapped off like that. Maybe they press this on. And the edges are removed or something, and there was some remains there. And to point out, just like with the Stego, this one have do not have painted toe or fingernails. The carnivores had painted toenails, but not fingernails. But the herbivores have none of it. Maybe they should have had it, but it's probably to balance out the design, because it, it walks on four legs, so it would look weird if there was only painted here and not here. So I can see the point. And now let's check out the action feature, which is ramming action. That sound was a little bit too growly for a trike, I think. But the ending of the sound sounded pretty much trike. That was a really angry track. That sounded like a repitched T-Rex roar. They really use the T-Rex roar on those a lot. But at least they tried to make it sound different. And I'm, I'm not sure, maybe they, there is not enough trike sounds, official ones, to use. 
Yeah, same goes for the other carnivores, but maybe it should have invented a newer sound, but... It was the growly one again. That was pretty much a trike. That was the T-Rex again. That was pretty much trike too. Well, the sound quality are good. Compared to older toys, the sound really is a lot better. The sound quality is better. And unless you look at it from the bottom like this, I'm not fussed with the gaps for the sound because you never look at it from the underside anyway. So let's do a little comparing now. Let's see here. So first off, compared to the Kenner humans, this is clearly not an adult Triceratops. It, it's too small for the Kenner ones. But compared to Owen, it's a little bit closer to scientific Triceratops scale. But I must admit, it's slightly too small for Triceratops. I imagine it to be slightly bigger, and this one being more like the Sinoceratops. It's a little bit too small. That's why I've said that I wish it was a action attack, because then it would be slightly bigger, like the Stego. But it it's neat that we have the sound though. But I really wish it was an action attack for that reason, or that they did another trike that is an action attack. It would be cool to have a little bit bigger triceratops. But it's it's an okay size for this. I'm not sure if this is close to the scientific size though. Maybe the triceratopses are slightly bigger even in, in um, real life, but at least it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Because at first I imagined it to be the same size as this Triceratops from Jurassic Park 3, which is smaller. It's a lot smaller. And the action feature on this one is so subtle. I mean, it's barely anything. So it's a good idea with the ramming action on this one, but they never really... It doesn't pull through, I mean... And it's tricky, you need to pull this tail hard to even do anything. It's hard to play properly with this one. This one, just push it and it does a full swipe. A lot better. And now, here is... Yeah, this is the same Triceratops sculpture as the other one. I just wanted to show you this one. When I got my other Raptor without repaint on it, uh, I got this one in the same deal. I like the color of this one. It's it's not realistic, really, but it's chaotic, like gene splicing gun mad. And I like that theme of it. So I enjoy it for that part. This one has the same action. Hmm, maybe it goes slightly more upward. The tail's not as stiff. It doesn't have any batteries, but yeah. There we go. And now to the big one. Here we have the Jurassic Park Kenner Triceratops, which is a lot bigger. And comparing... You, you see, this have its nose horn at Grant's face. This one has a nose horn down here. Even like this, it's barely on Owen's face. So this one is this one is good scale to Grant. This one is what I imagined Jurassic Park Triceratops in the movie to be in color. I always thought this one was really accurate, but now after checking closer and realizing, hey, the trike is actually more brown. This one is actually closer. Or how to say it, I mean, it should be slightly grey like this. In between the scales there should be a little bit grey tint to make it something in between both of them. But the darker rim here and all... The sculpture on this one is superior. This one is realistic for the skin 
and it's good looking in general but it it's slightly too long the head is slightly too long the crest is slightly too too small and the body should be higher on the back than on the front this one have like more a rhino shape on body so I love this trike but it's not perfection this one it wins it this is the best trike toy from Jurassic to date since the, the Lost World prototype was never released but this one though have a very nicely working ramming action a little bit too much of a gap at the neck but this one actually pulled through and it was a lot easier to use than the AP3 one but this one was never supposed to have sound there we go so just for the sake of it my usual comparison with blue. So for a Velociraptor versus Triceratops, this is too big a raptor. So this really is slightly too small, but it works. And finally, so here we have the Carnotaurus. So if this was Carnotaurus versus Sinoceratops, it would be slight. I think the Sanceratops is even a little bit bigger, at least compared to the movie, but... Ah! Screw it. It works. However, when facing a bigger foe, like this, the Triceratops comes out really smallish, and this is where it's really visible. The T-Rex might be slightly too big compared to a real-life Rex. Yeah, it is. So the trike is not the size problem, it's the Rex, sort of. But it's Jurassic and, you know, everything is oversized. So, let's put it like this to have a bit of light on the face. To summarize this review, my gripes with the figure is the lack of a bright underbelly when it have this paint job. They should have either have the full thing on the belly and the leg or not anything at all. So that that's my gripe with it. That's the biggest gripe. The uh, paint not going down here is a lesser problem because this just needed something more to match up. That's that's what I'm trying to say. It needs something to match up, so I don't see why they painted it here. But except for that, it's the most accurate sculpture of a Triceratops we have in the Jurassic toy lines so far, and I really hope they do a slightly big Triceratops, slightly more grey for the sake of it, because the Jurassic World Triceratopses are really close to the Kenner one in color. They are a lot more grey and less brown. So that's my wishes. A bigger trike. But except for that, this is a lovely figure. It's some something that most kids will love. And as a fan of Triceratopses, I approve of this figure. It looks great. Especially the sculpture, it really screams JP trike. And this darker color at the rim really makes it feel like the one from Jurassic Park. They really base this more of Jurassic Park than Jurassic World when it comes to the paint job, which is a little bit surprising because they could have done this color in a legacy version, but they did not. And, well, I will not complain. Having a lovely trike, so you can go sick Triceratops like this and then Grant can lean on it. But, <laughs> yeah, of course. You should use the Legacy Collection Alan Grant, which I have too, but I can't reach him right now. He's in the Jeep on the shelf. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't think I have much more to say. 
except for if you like it despite this the minor the minor flaws get a triceratops I highly recommend it because it's a nice toy it's a good action feature and a really nice sculpture and a decent color so until next time take care and sayonara